getting started here on the mat with the movement and exercise process, um, what I might suggest is putting your mat the long ways with your computer video screen oriented in front rather than the, the um, skinny ways. And that'll just be a little bit easier for when we get down on the mat and are laying down and those types of things that you can just kind of peek over your shoulder and see what I'm doing um, from a position and exercise standpoint. I'm also gonna do my best to be really clear about the position that we're putting ourselves in um, verbally. And so that way, if there's any um, need to just kind of be in the position on the mat and not necessarily can listen to me instead of having to look over at the screen all the time. So I'll do my best to be clear. Um, so go ahead and take this moment, lay out your mat the long ways to match mine. And we are gonna start with our hip width apart or feet hip width apart in the middle of our mat. So from here, I invite you all to take a big breath in reach up towards the sky, lengthen your body. Might be the first time that we really moved and stretched this morning, just embrace it. And then on your exhale, we're gonna fold at your hips, bend your knees and fold forward. From here, I'm gonna turn my body sideways. You can stay facing the same way. So we're in a forward fold here. Let any tension just come out of your head, your neck, your shoulders. Maybe find a gentle nod or a shake of the head side to side. Keep a gentle bend in the knees to protect your low back and appreciate there's some space around your hips. Take one more breath here. Now, as you find your exhale, we're gonna do a roll up. So you're gonna exhale, you're gonna draw your belly up and in. And you're gonna start to curl your tailbone, rounding and rolling up through your spine, one vertebrae at a time, as if you're stacking your spine up one little piece at a time. Take an inhale, reach high towards the ceiling once again. And then as you exhale, find that gentle forward fold, coming all the way back down to the front of your mat. Take an inhale breath, prepare. As you exhale again, find that roll up sensation. sensation. Draw your belly up and in. You're leading with your core. You're leading with your spinal roll up from your center. One at a time, shoulders, head, neck are the last thing to come up. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna go do this two more times. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale breath at the bottom. As you exhale, draw your belly up and in. Let that be the guide of the start of the motion, rolling all the way up. Last time here, breathe. Inhale, reach long and exhale. It's like a spinal massage here as you move through these motions. It's not a competition for how far down to the ground you can go. You'll notice I'm a little bit more flexible in my body, but that does not have to be you. Good, last time here, inhale, reach up. Now this time transitioning to a baby back bend. So draw your belly up and in for support. As you exhale, take both your arms, goal post them open, shine your chest. If you have any discomfort in the low back space, you can always put a little extra hand pressure here for support. Shine your chest forward and up, take another breath and come back to center. Good, I'm gonna turn and face you once again. You guys can all stay where you're at, just a better angle to see me. Take an inhale, reach both arms up. This time take your right hand, drop it down and reach your left side body up and over. So we're lengthening through our side body, you're breathing through your ribs. Good, come all the way back up and switch. So be cautious here, don't lock out your knees. Try and keep a gentle bend as you move back and forth. Let's do this one more time on each side. We're just getting everything warmed up. You'll notice through my classes, if you've ever been to my classes before, yoga or Pilates, um, or if you're new today, that I cue a lot about the breath. And really what that has to do with is our diaphragm is a part of our core and it's a part of what's gonna create this good center stability in our bodies and keep us safe in a good position. So now we're gonna add rotation. Your hips are gonna stay pointed straight forward towards the camera and then your upper body is gonna do a twist. So you're gonna reach those arms up once again. As you exhale, think about rotating from your center body, keep the hips forward. Your right hand is gonna reach back as your left hand reaches forward. Just embrace that twist through your middle spine. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, find your navel to spine connection, twist from your core, open the opposite way. As you inhale, come back to center. Let's go one more time each side. Exhale, initiate the movement from your core body. And then as you inhale, return. 
Last time here, exhale, twist. And inhale, back up. Good. I'm going to turn sideways. You all can stay where you're at. This time, as you exhale, find your forward fold, fold once again. As we inhale here, we're not going to do the roll up this time. We're going to find a halfway lift if you're familiar with yoga. What I'm going to encourage you all to do is find your hands placed at your shins, your knees, or your thighs, and then you're going to press away from that space. Roll your shoulders back away from your ears, create space there, and then draw your belly up and in for support as if you were doing a plank. Now find a gentle bend in your knees and take one full breath here. And as you exhale, come back into that forward fold. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, breath, halfway lift. Hands comes to your legs, press away, shoulders down and in. Think plank position in your core, draw your belly up. Last breath here. And as you exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, halfway lift, find length, stability in your center. And as you exhale, fold. Good, this time we're gonna inhale, rise up, chair pose. If you're familiar with yoga, I'm gonna switch the arms. The arms are gonna airplane back. And I want you to really think about rolling your shoulders open, creating some energy on your backside body. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades back in space, drawing my belly up and in once again. There's a theme here. So sit in your chair pose, taking two breaths in, appreciate all of the energy in your center body and also in your legs. We're gonna to start to add some fluid movement here. So this time, as you inhale, you're gonna rise up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna sink back into your chair pose. Good, inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink back into your chair pose. Now, option for the arms. You can keep them where they're at, still squeezing your back body, or if you wanna add a little bit more fluid movement, we're gonna change it on the down motion. So arms come up, more traditional chair. Inhale, stand. Exhale, down. Inhale, stand. Keep going, last four. Keep breathing. Good, feel that movement coming from your legs, support coming from your center. Last one, and all the way up. Good, from here, I'm gonna turn sideways. So you all can stay facing forward. Your legs are gonna come wide, toes are gonna point wide. Now each and every one of us is gonna have a different sense of mobility and flexibility in the hips and the pelvis as we sink low here. So just keep in mind, we may not wanna to be too wide or too narrow. Find what's comfortable for you. And I kind of even find that little wiggle in. So with the hips are going straight down towards the floor. So we don't want our booty sticking out back behind us. So think about your shoulders, your hips, and your pelvis all oriented towards the floor. So in this space here, we're gonna pulse up and down. Now it's not a competition for how low can you go or how wide can your legs be, but instead we're just gonna be controlled through our legs and nice and strong. So we're gonna add a breath here, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, very good. Inhale down, exhale up. I'm not used to teaching a class in silence. It's kind of fun actually. I'm not sure what I think about it, but we'll roll with it. Hopefully you all have like a little bit of tunes going. Kelly and I are in silence <laughs> over here, super fun. Good, last two. You can really hear our breathing at least. Last one, now we're gonna hold at the bottom. So find that comfortable place and space. Arms are gonna come out wide as an option. We're gonna do little baby pulses. So you're gonna go up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Really appreciate the openness in your chest. Maybe a little bit of a stretch there. Keep the core engaged. Avoid flaring the ribs out. Last four, and three, and two, and one. Stand, take a break. Now, we're gonna transition to a little bit more fluid movement in this posture. You always, if this isn't comfortable for you, can narrow the stance. I'm gonna ask you to point your toes in just a little bit here. We're gonna transition over to the right side. So we're gonna lean over to the right. If you're familiar with yoga, this is kind of like an extended side angle. I want you to appreciate my right forearm is down on my thigh, but I'm so strong in my core that I could take it away. I don't really need it. 
okay? Lengthen and inhale through your left side body. Now, as you exhale, push into the ground through your right foot, stand tall, and then switch. So we're gonna kind of windmill right over to the opposite left side. Take an inhale breath, exhale, push from your leg, and switch. So we're gonna follow our breath here, inhaling as we reach, exhaling as we transition. Good, exhale. So really the idea behind that inclusion of breath in the exhale is we're trying to use the exhale breath to facilitate our deep abdominals, our core muscles. It helps find one of the muscles in particular called the transverse abdominus and it's like our back brace muscle. Let's do one more on each side here. Good, now as we come back to the opposite side, we're gonna hold, so finding that right side or left side lengthening, we're gonna add a little spinal twist. So my chest is gonna to continue to reach towards the floor as I twist, arms reaching long, and then as I breathe, I'm gonna reach up and over. It's almost like I'm looking underneath my arm or my armpit. Good, twisting forward and down in the spine, and then twisting up. Just find whatever, whatever breath feels comfortable here. Let's go one more time. Notice your legs are working as you do this, right? They don't give it quite a, quite a break. Good, stand all the way tall and switching sides. So lengthening through that right side body this time. Continue to reach through your fingertips and that side as you twist and twist. So we're getting a little bit of rib mobility, spinal mobility here. Should feel pretty good. Let's go one more time each way and open, and with control, stand tall. Okay, good, coming to center. So we're gonna make our way down to the mat. Um, I call that a warm up, it's our warm up. My breath is moving, my body's warm. Um, so we're gonna come down to the mat and lay on your back. So you can face whatever direction works for you. So I'm gonna face this way here, feet are gonna be towards the front of the mat, and then my head's gonna be towards the top of the back. Okay. So coming into one of my favorite exercises, the bridge. Keep in mind, wherever your hips are, I want you to think about your knees and your feet at the same distance. So your heels aren't too far away, but they're also not super close to your bum. So I want you to think about maybe like another foot with distance away from your seat, your heels are gonna be placed. So arms are gonna reach at your sides. I want you to think about lengthening your fingertips as if you could reach towards your toes and then press your palms, your arms down into the mat. You should feel an openness in your collarbones, your chest. Now from here, take an inhale breath, press into your heels, lift up, find bridge pose. Take a moment to pause. Your hips are lifted here. One of the things I really like to help coach people through is not overly extending and arching to their maximum range of motion. So notice if you can see my screen, I'm really arched and I'm kind of thrusting too high in the air. So I encourage you all at the top of your range, draw your belly in, lengthen your tailbone down just an inch if you need to, okay? There, we're in neutral. Now from here, instead of just lowering the hips down, I want you to take an inhale breath. We're gonna revisit that roll down sensation. So you're gonna exhale, draw your belly in, start to roll your body down, your spine down, one vertebrae at a time all the way down, your tailbone is the last thing to come down to the mat. Good, take an inhale breath, press back up to your top bridge pose, and then as you exhale, roll it down. So you're starting at your middle, your thoracic spine, and then you're just like a slinky, setting each little vertebrae down one piece at a time. It should feel good, it's like a little spinal massage. Last four here, exhale breath, Lengthen, roll it down. This is super good for people with low back pain, pelvic pain, and um, SI joint issues. Last three. Sorry, the PT in me comes out a little <laughs> bit when I teach. <laughs> Kelly and I can't help ourselves. <laughs> Good, last two. Now notice your breath might be different than mine, pace-wise, don't worry about that. Take your time, let this class be your own. You don't have to follow exactly the same pace or the same way that I'm cueing this. Last one here.
Good. Now this time we're going to go straight into a hinge. This is a more traditional bridge. As you exhale this time, switching the breath, of course, exhale, press up, find neutral. Inhale, gently tap the hips down, barely touch the ground, push them right back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, option, if you want to challenge your core system and balance a little bit more, you can always reach the arms straight up towards the sky. So there's just less stability of your hands pressing down into the mat. Again, just another layer, another option. I'm gonna try and give people lots of different levels today. Good, last four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. If you can continue to hold up at the top without a break, if you need to take a break, please do. Now we're gonna shift side to side and go into what I call heel marching. So we're not lifting our full leg into a march, okay? We'll get there, I promise. But what we're gonna start with is you're gonna shift your body ever so slightly to the right side. So you're gonna push down really hard, really heavy on your right heel, and then you're gonna lift your left heel up. So I'm mostly balancing on my right side. There's just a little bit of my tiptoes touching on my left. Good, take another breath, set that left heel back down, shift over to the left side, pick the right heel up. So you'll notice you're kind of taking turns of which leg is doing majority of the work. If you get any hamstring cramping here, one suggestion I could make is try not to pull your heel towards you so much, try and push down. Use your glute muscles, the base of your seat, and you could also walk your feet in a little bit closer. Good, exhale breath, lift. Let's go back and forth one more time on each side here. I think you all can probably anticipate where I'm going with this. We're gonna add that full march in just a moment. Good, now you option to stay here if this feels good to you, or you can go back to your regular bridges. Otherwise, if we layer this up, you're gonna slowly start to peel that foot up, but you've gotta start with the heel march first. Good, as you inhale, set that foot back down, shift over to the opposite side, exhale, breath, peel it up nice and slow and controlled into that march. Good, keep going here, switching sides, one at a time, use your breath. Again, find that exhale connection in your tummy, in your center before you lift. Very good, let's do one more time on each side. You'll notice that my entire class, there's not a lot of breaks, and we move super slow. That is with intention. So just know you can take a break whenever you need to, or you can change the pace whenever you need to, but I would encourage you, try and take it slow if you can. Good, set the legs down, all the way down. Let's take a full body stretch here. We're gonna prepare for some more specific abdominal work. Reach your right arm a little bit longer than your left, and your left arm a little bit longer than your right, and then go ahead and relax in the center. Okay, so for abdominal work, we're kinda of using our core the whole time, but if we're gonna be more specific to the abdominals, which everybody loves, I'm going to layer this up. So I know a lot of you, um, just in talking with you, some of you are, are struggling in this area. And so I'm gonna start kind of from ground level foundations and then we're gonna build it. So feel free to layer it up or layer it down as it suits you today. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is both feet are gonna be in the same place we had bridges. Now hands are gonna come interlace your fingers behind your head. Now the biggest mistake I see people make when we start talking about abdominal work or crunches is that they pull up from their head and their neck and there's nothing happening here. Okay, so really be kind to your neck and your head space and don't do that. So the only reason the hands are behind the head is to support your neck in space. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, if this is new to you, feel free to take a look at the screen, I'm gonna demo, and then you can roll back down and do it yourself. So as you take an inhale breath here, you're filling your lungs. As you exhale, you're drawing your navel down, you're creating a flat belly space, and I'm lifting my chest towards the sky. Belly goes down, chest goes up. And then as I inhale, I lower down with control, take a big breath of air. As I exhale, belly comes down, chest lifts up. It's almost like my armpits 
are reaching towards the sky. And that creates the abdominal connection. As you inhale, come back down. And then exhale, connect to your belly. Feel everything pulled down and together like a back brace. And then lift back up. If you have any straining of your low back, your abdominals, or if you have um, suffered from diastasis, just be really mindful that when you crunch up, your belly's not pushing up, okay? You wanna pull it down. And I instantly shake when I do that. Last <laughs> two here. I'll shake along with you. Yeah, Kelly and I are both shaking. <laughs> Last one, so it's not a big movement. Beautiful, take a break. All right, for your break, you can watch this next, next layer, okay? If you like the first layer, stay there. Otherwise, we're gonna layer it up a little bit. So your right leg is going to extend into what I call a tabletop. So your shin is creating a table. It's not here and it's not here, okay? So try and really imagine your favorite drink on top of your shin bone. All right, left leg is gonna stay where it is. We're gonna add that crunch once again. As you exhale, crunch up. Inhale down, exhale, crunch up, inhale down, very good, exhale, crunch up, again, lifting the elbows and the armpits and the chest, not the neck. Last two, last one, good, set your right leg back down, exhale, lift your left leg up, we know where we're going with this, last six. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Very nice, good. Last little layer here before we switch gears. Right leg comes back up once again. Now option to keep your head and your neck down the entire time. And as you exhale, you're gonna reach your right leg out and then bring it right back into tabletop. Now notice my leg didn't go to the floor. I'm being mindful of how, how far can I go, how low can I go while staying connected in my body. I don't wanna see people arching and dumping through their spine or losing their core connection. So just be mindful with yourself here. And then as you inhale, you're gonna come back in. Option to layer this up. Add your crunch. You're gonna hold as you exhale. Your belly, your chest is, or excuse me, your chest is lifted. You're reaching out as you inhale, come back in. So you're lifted and you're active the whole time. You're adding a challenge as you reach. Inhale back in. Exhale, connect. Belly button to spine, reach out. Good, let's go three more. Holy ab work, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be complicated. Excellent job, last one, use your breath. With control, set that leg back down, head comes back down, we've got one more side. With control, exhale breath, find your tabletop, find your lift of your mini crunch, take an inhale, prepare, as you exhale, reach. Six more here. Good. Really think about lengthening that leg. Last two. Beautiful. Last one. Woo! Isn't that nice? Last full body stretch here. Awesome, awesome job. Let's roll on to your left side body. I had to think about that for a second. So everyone's going to turn and face me and lay on their left side. So what I'm gonna have you each do is, um, when you're laying on your left side, you're gonna bend your bottom knee, which will be your left knee, and then I want you to line up your body with the back side of your mat, okay? So your shoulder, your arm, and then your hip, and your top leg are all in one straight line. Beautiful. Okay, so your head can lay down on your left arm here. And then I want you to really think about lengthening and reaching your top right leg. Right hand is gonna come in front of your chest on the floor, okay? So your hand is gonna assist 
your core system here, okay? So from here, your toes, your right toes and your right knee are gonna face forward towards me, towards the video. As you take an exhale, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find your core, connect to your belly, pull it in, and then you're gonna lift your top leg only as high as you can go without spiraling and turning your toes towards the sky, okay? So you gotta keep your toes and your knees pointed straight towards me, which will limit how high you can go, okay? The other thing I want you to just kind of look out of your periphery without moving your head, if you can see your toes, your foot's too far forward, okay? So I want you to sweep it back without arching. You're gonna find more energy in your back hip glute area here, okay? That's the goal, so see if you can feel some energy here. Now you're gonna inhale, you're gonna just lower halfway down, you're not gonna go all the way down, and then you're gonna exhale, connect to your core system, lift back up, find a squeeze right on this outer hip. Inhale down, keep lengthening, lifting, exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale down, exhale, lift and squeeze. Good, we're gonna keep going here, use your breath. Now, this is called a sideline hip series. It is my favorite thing to teach. If you ever come to my sculpt classes or my Pilates classes, you'll find these in there often. Now, we're not going to take a huge break in between these different movements. I'm going to keep on going. So please, these get tired easy. Take a break as you need to. Let's go three more here. Finding that outer gluteus, medius, and minimus muscle. Two. Last one. Now take a mini break if you need to, otherwise you're gonna hold that foot up. You can point or flex the foot, doesn't matter. Tiny baby circles with the hip. So I want you to imagine you have a pencil in between your toes and a piece of paper right below your foot and you're drawing tiny baby circles, keeping your knee straight, lengthened, reach, feel the burn, breathe. Kelly and I are laughing over here because we're dying. I need more of this in my life. Good. Last three, two, one, tiny baby rest. Good, coming right back up, lengthen, circle the opposite way. You knew that was coming, didn't you, Cal? I can shake it. She's shaking over here. Woo. Keep breathing. I can't hear any of you, so if you're swearing at me, it's okay. You can swear, <laughs> yell all you want. I'll forgive you. I'll just do it under my breath. Last three, two, one. Tiny baby rest. Good. Grand finale. These are my favorites. So we're going to imagine that we are bicycling. So when you come up, you find that same foot, knee, hip lifted position. And then as if you were bicycling, you're going to drive your knee forward, bend your knee, extend that leg out and then sweep it back as you pedal. Now, as you get to the backside, this is where the juicy stuff happens. I want you to find your glute right at the backside. Good, without overarching, bend your knee, pull it right back forward. So the goal here is as you're pedaling, don't let your foot drop down towards the floor. Try and keep it up in line with everything else we've been doing. Foot's up at the hip level. Good, it doesn't take many of these and we feel them. Good job, almost done. Let's crank out two more together. I hate to say it, but we don't use these muscles often enough, so these are burners. Woo! Last one, and rest. Beautiful. Now stay on the side for just a moment. We're gonna do a side plank on the left. So I'm gonna have you all just take this bent knee that we just had kickstand in front. You're gonna keep it bent, but just line it up, put it back inside the space in line with your body. Okay, so add, um, put your elbow right below your shoulder. Oftentimes I see people with side planks and their elbow's way out in front of them and that's not great for the shoulder, it doesn't feel good. So hug it in nice and tight, stack it up. If anything, have it a little closer to you. Now, if side planks aren't your jam, I would say start here. Even just getting your shoulder in this position over your elbow, this is working. So this is where I would start. If you feel good with side planks, I'm gonna have you lift up from the bottom hip. Okay, so my knee is down. Now, option to hold here. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you an, a third layer advancement. As you exhale, you're gonna find that lift of that leg we just did. I promise we won't do a lot of these, but we just gotta 
add it on. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep pulling your elbow, your left elbow in towards your body, towards your toes. Keep lifting your side body up and keep pulling your belly in. Last three. Exhale, two. And exhale, lift, one. All the way down. Now, before we completely switch sides, let's give a little stretch for our body. You're gonna kinda keep the legs sweeped off to the side. You're gonna reach up and over. Now, because we both did the left side together, um, or we laying on our left side, you might be opposite of me right now. And that's okay, as far as the screen goes. Good. Appreciate that length through that left side. Take a moment to bring the heart right down if it's elevated. And then we're gonna sweep the body around. We're gonna switch sides. You guys are doing great. I can see a few of you on the screen. It's awesome. All right, so right side now is coming down to the mat. You're gonna line up your entire right side with the back side of your mat. You're gonna kickstand your right leg, right knee forward. You're gonna lay your head down on your arm. Left hand is out in front of your chest for support. Left leg is reaching super, super long. Knees and toes pointed forward towards me. As you find an exhale breath, connect to your core system. Lift up and squeeze. Good. As you inhale here, halfway lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Again, we're trying to find that back side of your glutes. If you're feeling a lot in the front, probably have the foot too far forward. So see if you can keep your foot right in line with your body. Good, lift and exhale. Let's go four more. Three. Great, two. And one, we're going straight into those circles. Pick any direction you want, hug that belly in, breathe as you need to, little baby circles, one direction. Toes can be pointed or flexed. Picture that little circle you're drawing on that piece of paper, pencil between your toes. Last three, two, one, little short rest. Take a breath, take a moment. On your next exhale, lift it right back up. You know where we're going. Circle the opposite direction. Good. Awesome job, you guys. These are so good for you. And if you are feeling the pain, like Kathleen and I are, I'm trying not to look at her, she's gonna make me laugh. Um, if you are feeling the pain like Kelly and I are, you are right where you need to be. This is so, 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 so good. Last three, two, one, short little rest. Take a breath, take a moment. All right, bicycles for the grand finale. All right, lift and reach the leg. Think about driving that knee forward. Kick it out with your heel, lift and reach. Sweep it back. This is where the core connection comes in because if you lose your belly connection, you'll arch your spine. We don't wanna overly compress the spine, so keep it centered, keep it supported. Good. Foot is lifted, hip width, hip height. Sweep it through. Last two here, you can do it. Last one, all the way through. And set that leg back down. Awesome job. Coming up to that side plank on the right. Right elbow is going to be directly underneath your shoulder. Again, I'd rather it be a little closer than further. Take your right kickstand knee, place it in line with your body. Left leg stacked on top. Right hand can be up on your, on your hip if that's comfortable or at your side, whatever you please. You're going to lift from this side body, finding our obliques, our core system. Option to layer here. You can hold or you can add a little baby lift, which really feels good. Wonderful after what we just did. Last four, three, exhale when it gets hard, two, and one. Good. Setting that right hip down on the ground, left, or legs sweep off to the left. Just reach that right arm up and over. Again, you might be opposite of me in the camera here, but we're on the same side. Good. Take a breath. We're almost done, you guys. You're doing awesome. All right, from here, we're going to transition to hands and knees. 
Um, so hands are going to be placed directly underneath the shoulders and knees are going to be placed directly underneath the hips. So a lot of people I'll see put their knees really close together and narrow. I'm going to encourage you to create some space here. All right, so we're going to go into traditional cat and cow if you're familiar with yoga and Pilates. This is a fan favorite. So as you inhale breath, let your belly sink low. Gently shine your chest forward. Think about drawing the shoulders back, lift the tailbone high. Now as you exhale breath, draw your belly up and in, knee from your core. Think about creating a rainbow shape, specifically through your low back space. Good, we're gonna flow through these a few times. Inhale breath, cow pose, lengthen the spine, shine the chest. As you exhale, lift, cat pose. Good. Inhale. Reverse your spine. Think about the upper back space here. And then as you exhale, round up through the low back space. Let's go one more time each side, each way. And as you exhale, round. Good. From here, take an inhale breath. Tuck your toes underneath you. As you exhale, lift from your belly. We're going to find down dog together. So again, another really common one for yoga. Press the ground away with your fingertips on your mat. Have some energy in your shoulders. You're going to reach your heels heavy towards the mat, but you don't have to have your knees straight or your heels all the way to the ground. So just take a couple big deep breaths here. If it feels good, you can pedal your feet, reaching one heel at a time towards the mat with the straight knee and bending the opposite knee. Let's go ahead and take just two more breaths. And then go ahead and drop both knees down to the mat, coming back to your tabletop position. If you need to roll out your wrists at any time too, feel free to do so. Another quick tip and trick that I like for um, wrist pain people, take your mat or an extra blanket, you can fold it towards you, and then take the palm of your hand, place it on your blanket or your mat, and then start to let your fingertips drop over to like a waterfall towards the, the front. That will alleviate some wrist pain. We're going to do one more thing on the hands and knees. So from here, we're going to go into some core work, some bird dog, as we commonly know it. So from here, I'm going to really coach you on orienting to your breath and using your belly. Okay, so as you exhale, draw your belly up away from the mat to create support. And then from here, we're only going to move the right leg back. So I want you to think about kicking your right toes against your mat, against the floor, straight back in space. Now from here, hold that lengthened position of the right leg. Reach the left arm out in front of you. Take a breath here. And then as you trans transition, come back to center. Okay, so we're gonna do that on the opposite side. As you exhale, find your belly, connect, reach your left leg long. Toes are still down for now. And then reach your right arm long. Create length in this posture. As you inhale, come back to center. We're gonna switch. Exhale, reach. Focus on the length rather than the height here. You'll get more connection through your core system, more support in your spine. Exhale, connect, then move. Now, if this feels good, stay. If you wanna layer it up a little bit, we're gonna add a little bit of a lift from the leg, but I want you to be mindful of how you do it. It should be really minuscule without overarching the spine. So I'm staying connected in my belly, my front side body. Exhale, belly button, spine, connect to that core, then reach and lengthen. I almost think of it like a two-step process or a three-step process. Connect to my core and my breath, then I reach and lengthen. And then option number three, or layer number three, is little baby lift. Let's go one more time on each side, wherever you're at. Last time here, exhale, breath, reach. And back down. Take an inhale, tuck your toes underneath you. Lift your hips high, exhale, down dog. Last down dog of class, soak it in, press the ground away, strong shoulders, lengthen the spine, and then with an inhale breath, bend your knees and step to the front of your mat. 
From here, we're going to go ahead and take a seat. And then I'm going to invite you all to transition down onto the mat, onto your back. We're going to find a comfortable space. As we end class, it's going to be more of kind of a traditional yoga style with a little bit of mindfulness and like a shavasana. So however you choose to get there, you may. I'm going to include more of an activation type of roll down to be in or to get into that posture. So knees can be bent or knees can be straight. You're going to take a nice tall seat of your spine. Arms are lifted out in front of you. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, draw your navel in. Start to tuck back behind your tailbone and with control from your belly. This is what we worked for all class. Control the roll down all the way down. And then as you inhale breath, reach up and overhead, full body stretch. This is where I'm gonna invite you all to find a comfortable place and space to complete our class this morning. I'm gonna sit up and face you as I speak, but feel free, you can come to to a seated position, you can stay on your mat on your back, you can turn on your belly, add a blanket, a pillow, whatever suits you to get comfortable here. So in this busy time, this busy place and space, it's easy to be overwhelmed be anxious, worried, stressed. And I just invite you in this moment to reflect and let it go. Appreciate the good, the things that you have, um, that you appreciate, that you have gratitude for, the things that you're thankful for, even just the little things. Have gratitude and appreciation for the work that's been done in the last 40 minutes. The body that you have to do the movements, perform the exercises, and to guide your breath. We have one body, one mind, one soul in this lifetime, and it does take effort, energy to take care of it. And so in this space, in this moment, take time to appreciate the body, the mind, the soul that you have that could complete what we did today. That you took the time out of your Saturday morning to be here with us, to move with us, to grow in positivity and in a community, and to do just that for yourself. These next few moments of silence are completely yours. I invite you to breathe and use this time for whatever you need it to be. We'll regroup in just a moment. I invite you all to bring gentle movement, awareness,